Hi, this is Madeline Hanks, and today I'm going to be talking about Ephraim Hanks. Who was Ephraim Hanks? Well, to start off, Ephraim Hanks was my ancestor. Uh, don't ask how we're related because I don't exactly know. He was born in Madison Township, Ohio, March 21st, 1826. He was the son of Benjamin Hanks and Martha Knowlton. Early life. Ephraim left home at 16 and started working on the Erie Canal. He served in the United States Navy and became converted in the LDS or the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints in 1845. He moved west with the Saints, which are the Mormons or the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints and Brigham Young. He served in the Mormon Battalion, which to specify what this is, the Mormon Battalion was, well, during the Mexican War of 1846, James K. Polk, which was the President of the United States at that time, requested 500 Mormon men to help in the war effort, and the Mormon leaders agreed, so that was the Mormon Battalion. He was also a U.S. mail carrier in the years 1851 and 1856, which is pretty cool because he got to go across land and be able to get very familiar with all the land. And then later on in his life, he became a station master for the Pony Express. Frontier Life Ephraim Hanks was very experienced in the outdoors and in the wild. He was often alone in the wilderness when he was a U.S. mail carrier and knew the land very well because of that. He was also experienced with the Indians and their way of life and knew how to deal with them, probably because he came across them multiple times. Just in general, he was very good with land and knew how to survive on his own, which comes in handy. Religion and Rescue Ephraim Hanks was a very religious and spiritual man. He often acted upon the word of God and received revelation from prayer and at times angels. So let's back up a bit so this makes a little more sense. The Mormons had been persecuted and driven out of certain states for a long time and they were looking for some place to settle and some place to build their Zion. After the past prophet of the church, Joseph Smith, dies, Brigham Young becomes the new leader of the church and prophet. He and the church decide that their Zion would be located in Utah. So many of the saints from across the world and in the United States set off for Zion in handcart companies. Unfortunately, many of the handcart companies, or at least a few of them, started the journey to Utah later than they should have and were still traveling to Utah when the winter came. These handcart companies were out of food and clothing and were freezing and starving to death and needed help desperately before they all died. At the same time this was going on, certain people were being called from God to go and help the handcart people. Ephraim Hanks was one of these people. So he had been fishing one day and decided to stay at his friend's house. During the night, he was woken up multiple times by a voice, which told him to go help the handcart people. He replied and said that he would, he would go help them when he was called. Soon after, there was a meeting in Utah. In that meeting, there was a call for all the able men to go and help the Willie and Martin handcart companies as soon as they could in the next few days. Ephraim stood up right then and there and answered that he was ready to go right then. Ephraim headed out to help the, stain, <laughs> the saints on his own in the middle of winter. Probably one of the only reasons he didn't get lost or even survived going out to look for the handcart companies was because he had traveled through the same land when he delivered mail and the U.S. mail system. Because he was a very spiritual man and connected to God, he prayed for a buffalo so that he could have fresh meat for the handcart companies. As soon as he was done praying, he looked up and there stood a buffalo. I think this is really cool because he, in his journal, it states that since he had been through that land many times before, he had never actually seen buffalo or a sign of buffalo, but yet, right there when he needed it, in the middle of winter, he found a buffalo. When he reached the handcart companies, he gave them food and healed their sick and afflicted. He had a very special talent with healing others and often saved the lives and limbs of the sick. Ephraim was a very amazing man because of his willingness to serve and help others. 
as well as his skills with handling the frontier and being able to heal others. Family life. Ephraim Hanks, after he did his amazing works with the handicraft companies, he married four times. He had 26 children, which is a lot, even for back then. And he married Thisbe Reed from the Martin Handcart Company. I think this is really cool. It just shows just, I don't know, I think it's really cool because he saved his wife and his family and he helped them get back to Utah and then later on he marries her. Citations. So here are the citations. I did a lot of research as you can see. Also before you go, check out this movie made about this amazing man, Ephraim Hanks. It's called Ephraim's Rescue. It's very cool. Thank you guys so much for watching this presentation and learning about this wonderful man.